a cloud guruji dot com okay so we have already documented these things and why as you know whenever we learn something uh, in any kind of like technical topic we always bring some kind of business scenario business use cases uh, without that sap world is incomplete right completely incomplete so for that for the similar uh, rhythm so here also we are having a business use case what is the business use case so this business use case is this so we will be trying to actually automate our sales order creation process what is that in different companies maybe uh, there are different different approval processes we are taking this particular sales order approval process here maybe the same process can apply to business partner onboarding or something else as well for, to simplify these things we are using this sales order business process automation scenario and for that definitely we will be using our real s4 hana backend system so there actually we will be creating the sales order after the business process will be finishing in our btp platform itself so what is this build process what is this what is this actual process the actual process is will be having a trigger form okay so trigger form in the sense let's say like the end user will log in and they will try to create a sales order like giving the sales order header and item informations the vendor information the reference sales order information or uh, sales organization distribution channel divisions and line items the materials quantity those kind of informations and after giving those information that particular sales order will go to the process what is the process here for our story for our use case what we have designed is we have on condition if the sales order amount exceeds 100000 dollar then it must follow some approval process that means some authority some authorized person should approve it otherwise the sales order will not be processed for our customer so for that purpose we do have this condition and then we do have the approval form so whenever the condition will met then the approver will get approval item in their inboxes right with all those informations like this is the sales order this is the amount this is that this is that right and based on that the approver can approve or reject and also they can give the comment as well and then what happen after approver reje- reject then we are going for action what is the action is approving the sales order then the sales order or it can happen the approver can reduce the amount quantity of the line items right and then it will go for then then the approver can approve it and then the action will happen what is action action means you can internally the technical flow will go to the action mode and try to create the sales order with using the o data services going to the back end s4 hana system and actually creates the sales order based on the approved amount and if everything goes well then the end customer can get a email notification so you can see here in this process we do have three persona the first persona is the end user creating the sales order from the trigger form the second persona is the approver um, the approver can get the details and then approver reject in terms of this point number 3 approval form and then we do have third persona is the customer who is actually getting the final notification that the sales order get approved good gets approved or rejected or how what is the current situation of, for the uh, for the sales order that customer actually placed at the beginning so this is how it will work now the thing is like okay we need to go to the system now our option i'll be using this option for distribution channel this option sold to this particular sold to party copy and net amount 100000 100000 same thing i am just giving and what will happen now if i will just click submit it should also go to the approval process right let's see so so form submitted successfully now if i go back to my uh, so now uh, i'll be going to the monitoring section so go to the monitor section and you can actually see the scenarios how it got processed this is the one 
and process and workflow is still running. So why it is it still it in running state? Because it must go, go to the approval process. What happened? You can see it here itself. Okay, so this particular person started the instance like the trigger the form and then it actually gone to the condition section. Okay, which is the condition and then uh, it is it gone for the approval process and there it is stuck. That means someone need to approve and the email ID that I have used for approval process. I will now open the inbox. So how to actually open? So you just come here, my inbox. And that particular work item should be appearing in my inbox. Yeah, that came here and I can just give some comment as well. And maybe like in your real time scenario, you need to change the amount and all, adjust the amount or something like that, and then go for approval process or reject process. So if I just go to the approve, it will automatically removed from my inbox. Okay, it got removed from my inbox. Again, if I just come here and I just open, try to open it. Okay, so that particular piece is gone. Why it is gone? Because so because that already processed. Okay, so that already processed, and I already got an email as well. Uh, yeah. So how you to ensure that got processed or not? So you just can see here the completed option, and this is the particular thing. So yeah, you can see the date today only. Now it got processed. Okay. So I already got the email as well now as the final action. OK, but before that, like as because it got approved, so that means I should get the uh, get the sales order number as well. Maybe like I can get the sales order number from here. Yeah, so from here you can see you can check all the details like OK, so uh, sales order creation state uh, started, then sales order creation completed successfully and then mail sent and then the instance com instance completed successfully. So whenever I have this, I can expand this or maybe I can just go below and I can check if I can get the sales order number. So here I will be having the sales order number as well somewhere. But let me just open that. Yeah. Right. Let me show my screen once again. Okay, so you can see this particular sales order, I mean this email got generated uh, two minutes ago. Okay. And this is the uh, subject line. Your sales order got created in SAP, and this is the body. So as simple as that. If I just copy this one and go to the backend system, go to the go to flash of VA03, and give this sales order. Yeah, this is the sales order. So as because I have not given any line item and all information, so it is not happening. But anyway, so the process got finished, and you can understand like how the process entirely happened, starting from the trigger form, going to the condition, then going to the approval form, then going to the uh, action and then going to the mail action. Now the floor is open for any question answers. Mm -hmm.